thousand mile review of a 2016 Ninja ZX10R. So this is obviously my bike. Um, I haven't done a thousand miles. I've done 912. Um, but I just wanted to do a bit more of a, a detailed talk on it from the first review. When I got it the first time, I was just amazed by everything. And now I've had it for a little bit more, a little bit longer. I sort of realised there's some bits that I like more than other bits. So let's slag it off for five minutes. First thing is the amazing gas suspension is only good in my opinion if you get it set up i think that the front springs are too hard and the rear spring is too soft so i've had it set up by mct and they've changed them all the springs for me set it up nice and now they're turning around and saying this bike has the best suspension for a production bike so if you are buying this bike for its handling capabilities get it set up otherwise you might not be getting the full benefit out of it so that's what I've got to say about suspension and handling and to be honest with you I have noticed that I can brake harder now I've had that changed without the ABS kicking in other thing I don't like this electronic steering dampener if you pin this bike obviously the front wheel is hovering and that steering dampener is doing nothing so it will, like, it will let you get a front end shake on um, but if it gets too severe it then kicks in and, and it dampens it down I'm used to an adjustable dampener that I can just have set like at a medium setting and it's going to keep it stiff all the time I've got no need for them bars to be completely light and shaking around the place in my opinion it's just dangerous um, coming down to here the paint is coming off on the swing arm my mate's got a 2015 one it's doing exactly the same thing um, so I've put these pads on to try to stop it but you can see there where I'm wearing on the pads and it's even starting to peel up there so I don't know if I'll put some covers on now or what I'm going to do about it yet but Kawasaki that's not a good design um, power wise I'm hoping when I remove the Mahusive Cat it eliminates it but at the moment the mid range of this is pony until this bike hits like 50 mile an hour to me it seems gutless once it reaches that it turns into an absolute animal and the bike's completely having to control that front wheel constantly to stop it wheeling it really wakes up and it'll keep doing that through first second third and fourth um, it has got a lot of power but it needs more mid range maybe that cat there's stopping it doing that getting on to the more positive things the ABS system is phenomenal, especially with the new suspension set up. I can hammer on them brakes um, and sometimes the back wheel will hover a little bit and it'll still keep the brakes on, it won't release them. Um, and to be honest, I can't brake as fast as I can brake with this bike um, on my own. I've rode other bikes with ABS and they're just kicking in too early and you feel like it's taking longer to brake, which obviously isn't too nice. Uh, the headlight on the fin is ridiculous it's got a real good headlight on it for night riding um, the throttle I wouldn't mind a slightly shorter throttle uh, just because of I'm used to other bikes just completely personal preference um, and yeah that's about it one thing I haven't done on the bike is the launch control yet I was trying to turn it on earlier I couldn't figure out how to do it so I'm going to have to go get the little handbook out and figure that out if you buy some engine cases buy ones that aren't RNG apparently because the RNG ones are um, covering up too much of the engine and it stops letting it breathe uh, so I've gone for MSS ones which are quite similar to the GB covers and just let the engine keep itself nice and cool Aquapovic can come with the performance package looks pretty nice um, but it's still quite quiet while it's got the decat on it so I'm not really getting to hear it scream yet um, all in all very good bike now the suspension's done it handles phenomenal if you're above 50 mile an hour the fin's like an absolute bullet um, and it's comfortable to ride the riding position's good on it I can do long miles on it uh, and uh, yeah that's probably all I've got to say for it about now if anyone's got any questions or um, anything they want to particularly know like maybe is Tommy going to wash his bike the answer is yes I have been out having fun on it and yes it is covered in dead flies and I promise you all these splatters were done at the legal speed limit um, oh one other thing these lights or mirrors are absolutely huge and I keep clipping them on things because I'm not used to having a bike that's so wide 
Um, but yeah, apart from that, nothing else to say. That is Tommy's 1,000 mile review of the ZX-10R.